In today's busy and noisy world, silence is often seen as a challenge, a suffocating void that makes us feel unsafe and nervous. We rush to fill that silence to avoid the discomfort it brings. Stoicism, on the other hand, says that silence isn't just a way to keep secrets or stay out of trouble. It's also a strong way to find inner peace and build mental strength. I once heard a civil case lawyer talk about how he uses silence as a strategy in court. When a witness seems to be done speaking, he will purposely remain silent for a short period of time to create a tense environment. This silence often encourages the witness to continue speaking, which can lead to mistakes. This shows that silence isn't just a whole, it's a strong message that you don't have to talk all the time to face and fully understand the power of speech and silence. Epictetus taught us to be quiet most of the time and only speak when necessary. Then he told us that in every spoken word and every moment of silence we keep, we not only show respect for others, but also self-respect, self-awareness, and a deep understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Are you ready to learn more about the power of silence? Let's go on this journey together to look at important situations where silence is not only a choice, but a must. Before we go any further, I want to stress how important it is to watch the whole video and not skip any lessons. Each point will help you learn something important about the importance of silence in life. Do you want to help us reach new heights? Like and share this video to boost its reach through the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe because only 8.5% of our viewers are subscribed. Your support makes a huge difference. Lesson number one, how to deal with anger. At some point, we've all felt our hearts sink with anger. It could be during a tense moment with a coworker as we try to find common ground for a project, when we found out that a relationship was ending, or when our beloved child ignored our words. Angry feelings often come on quickly, like a storm from the depths, destroying reason and leaving behind a trail of regret and pain. When this happens, Stoicism can help us face these strong feelings with both reason and compassion when anger starts to burn inside us. Remember the story of Seneca, a Stoic philosopher who was betrayed by a friend. Instead of getting angry, Seneca thought about it and understood that anger is often worse for us than the injury that makes it happen. He chose to deal with the situation with empathy and understanding, knowing that everyone is fighting their own battles inside. To deal with anger, the first step is to recognize it and accept it with clarity. This doesn't mean hiding or denying your feelings. It means understanding and accepting them as a normal part of being human. Next, look into what's really making you angry. Is it a sense of helplessness in a situation you can't change? Or is it frustration over unmet expectations? Once you know what's really making you angry, you can use stoic logic to look at the situation more objectively. Remember that anger usually doesn't solve the problem, it makes it worse. 3. Ask yourself how you can turn this anger into a positive action or a valuable lesson. 4. Think about turning your anger into motivation for personal growth and better relationships with others. For example, if you're mad at a coworker for a misunderstanding, you could talk about it and clear things up instead of getting back at them, which would build a stronger working relationship. Stoicism not only helps us control our anger, but it also teaches us how to use it to grow as people and learn more about others. By doing this, we find inner peace and make our relationships with others better. Try practicing anger management if you agree. Managing your anger well is important for keeping your relationships and mental health in good shape. Here are some ways to deal with your anger. Figure out what's going on. Know the mental and physical signs that you're getting angry. Some of these are clenched hands, a racing heartbeat, tense muscles, or a tendency to get angry. Take a break. If you start to feel angry, 
step back from what's going on. If you need to, say sorry and give yourself some time to calm down before you answer. You might not say or do something you'll later regret if you do this. Relaxation and deep breathing. Do some deep breathing or try other ways to relax, like progressive muscle relaxation or meditation. When you're angry, this can help calm your body and mind. Let your feelings out. Instead of holding your anger inside, find good ways to let it out. To get rid of stress, talk to a trusted friend or family member, write in a book or do something physical. Find your triggers. Pay attention to what makes you angry and try to stay away from or lessen your exposure to these things as much as possible. This could mean setting limits, being clear about what you need, or making changes to your lifestyle. Challenge Negative Thoughts Negative thoughts and ways of seeing things can make you angry. Question these ideas by asking yourself if they are true and by thinking about other points of view. Demonstrate empathy. Even if you don't agree with someone, try to understand their thoughts and feelings. Figuring out where another person is coming from can help calm you down and make it easier to talk to them in a more positive way. Get professional help. If your anger is really getting in the way of your relationships, work or general quality of life, you might want to talk to a therapist or psychologist. They can help you deal with your anger better by giving you unique strategies and techniques. Healthy lifestyle habits. To live a healthy life, you should exercise regularly, eat foods that are good for you, get enough sleep and not drink or use drugs too much. These habits can help you control your thoughts and get rid of anger. Forgive others. Holding on to regrets and resentments can make you more angry. Try to forgive yourself and others. Letting go of old grudges can help calm you down and help your emotions heal. Don't forget that controlling your anger is a skill that you can learn with time and practice. Allow yourself some time and enjoy the little wins along the way. Lesson number two, when faced with unfairness. When we face injustice, it's not only a test of fairness, but also a lesson in the strength of the spirit. Stoic philosophy teaches us not only how to control our responses, but also how to find peace within ourselves when life gets rough. Stoics don't think that silence means giving up or accepting something without a reason. Instead, they see it as a strong choice that helps us face and overcome injustice without losing our inner peace. Take a look at an example. You are an experienced worker who has worked hard for your company, but one day you find out that a less experienced co-worker was promoted instead of you. You feel unfairly treated and your self-esteem is hurt. But instead of getting angry or disappointed, you choose to think about the situation and re-evaluate your value and what you really want in your career. You mustn't let negative emotions cloud your judgment. Do something to improve your skills and learn more instead of sitting back and letting bad feelings build up. Through this example, we can see that when we stay quiet and in charge, we not only avoid hurting others or ourselves with careless words, but we also have the chance to find our inner strength. When we are faced with injustice, silence is not only a defense mechanism, it's also a way to find the best and most effective solution. Silence helps us connect with ourselves and the depth of our values, which builds a solid foundation for action. As Marcus Aurelius said, the best response to anger is silence rather than reacting with anger or getting caught up in negative emotions. The power of silence helps us stay in charge and positive about life's bigger picture. This not only helps us handle any problem with serenity, but it also makes us stronger and more resilient in any situation. With the power of silence, we can handle any problem life throws at us. It's not just about accepting them, but turning them into chances to grow. 
This is the inspiration and encouragement that Stoic philosophy gives us become stronger and more autonomous in life. Life. It's normal to feel a lot of different feelings when something isn't fair, like frustration, anger, disappointment, or even sadness. But how you react to unfair treatment can have a big effect on the situation and on your health. If someone is being rude to you, here are some things you can do. Accept your feelings. Let yourself feel what you're feeling. You shouldn't try to hide your feelings. Instead, you should be aware of them and accept them. Evaluate the scenario. Take a step back and look at the scenario without bias. Try to figure out why you think it's wrong and think about whether there are any factors or points of view you haven't thought of. Get another point of view. Talk about what's happening with someone you trust. Getting an outside view can help you understand things better and maybe see them from a different angle. Select your answer. Choose what you will do about the wrong. It's easy to act without thinking, but taking a moment to think about your choices can help you make better decisions. Communicate assertively. If it's acceptable, be calm and direct when you tell the right people about your feelings and concerns. Explain why you think the situation is wrong and what you'd like to happen to make things right. Focus on what you can control. Know that you might not be able to change some parts of the situation. Don't think about those things too much. Instead, think about things you can change, like your own deeds and attitudes. Seek justice through the right channels. If the unfairness is big and has real effects, you might want to seek justice through the right channels, like filing an official complaint or talking to a lawyer. Take care of yourself. Dealing with unfairness can be hard on your emotions, so make sure you put your own needs first. Take part in things that help you unwind and recover, like yoga, meditation, spending time with loved ones, or hobbies. Let go of resentment. Holding on to anger towards someone or something that you think is wrong can hurt your health in the long run. You should forgive others, but not just because they deserve it. Do it for your own peace of mind. To learn and grow, use the time you spend dealing with unfair situations as a chance to do so. You should think about what you learned and how you can handle similar problems better in the future. Remember that you can choose how to react to things that happen to you, not always what they are. By being strong, self-aware, and taking positive action when you encounter unfairness, you can get through tough situations more easily and honestly. Lesson number three, navigating the storm of insulting. Before we start lesson three, let me tell you a story about Cato, a famous Stoic philosopher and politician. Cato was known for his unwavering loyalty to his ethics. His peers often made fun of him for it, but he never wavered. His life is a vivid example of the stoic belief that true strength lies within our beliefs, not in external recognition. In fact, our lives often go through rough patches. Stoics are not superstitious. They don't simply pretend not to care about insults. Instead, they recognize that others' opinions are just personal views, unable to change one's true value. In this way, they focus on controlling what they can change, not what they cannot. Moreover, controlling emotions is a skill that Stoics practice daily in the storm of insults. They do not let themselves be swept away by emotions such as anger or hurt. Instead, they keep their spirit calm and clear, facing every challenge with patience and strength. However, the most important thing is not just controlling emotions, but also viewing situations objectively. Stoics see insults as a natural part of life and not worth losing control over instead of reacting with anger or hurt. They keep their thoughts clear and lucid to make the right decisions and cope most effectively. Finally, Stoic philosophy teach teaches us about empathy and tolerance instead of retaliating with words or counteractions. They may choose silence or a gentle word to prevent escalating conflicts and encourage more positive communication. 
To sum up, getting through the storm of insults isn't just about avoiding them. It's a process of learning and using wisdom, patience, persistence, and determination. The only way to live a free and calm life, even in the worst conditions, is to follow the Stoic philosophy. Can we live a free and calm life, even in the most difficult situations? Lesson number four, dealing with the gossip. People will always be wrongly criticized or have rumors spread about them. What matters is not that we face these problems, but how we deal with them and get through them. Stoicism, which teaches us to be patient and in control, can help us deal with problems in a strong and calm way. For example, when false rumors are spread, we should not get angry or panic. Instead, we should use reason to look at the situation objectively and act understandingly. Silence can also be a strong and wise response. Instead of speaking out to protect our honor, we should choose silence and patience and let time and truth provide the answer. Beyond and understand that being quiet is not a sign of weakness, but of strength and self-control. Sometimes, keeping quiet is the best way to protect yourself and stay calm. Remember that real strength doesn't come from getting angry or upset, but from being patient and confident enough to stay quiet and face problems with calmness and wisdom. But don't get me wrong, you can stay quiet and let time take its course, or you can take a smarter road. Take a mental picture of yourself working in a big company where rumors and news spread fast. One day you hear a rumor that you were suddenly promoted because you catered to your boss's emotions. This rumor shocks and confuses you, but it also gives you a chance to practice stoicism in real life. Instead of getting angry or worried, you choose to be calm and confident. The first thing you do is face this information directly, not denying or ignoring it. Instead, you meet with your boss to have an open and direct conversation to clarify an issue. Rumors about you are not only a challenge for you, but also a chance to improve your patience and confidence. According to the Stoics, you can get through anything and become stronger in the process. Have you ever been the target of false rumors about yourself? If so, please share your story in the comments section of this video. Although dealing with talk can be difficult, there are a few things you can do to do it well. Put it aside. A lot of the time, talk needs our attention. If you don't do anything about it, it might go away on its own. Face it directly, if it's appropriate. If the gossip is really hurtful or is affecting you or other people badly, you might want to talk to the person who is sharing it directly about it. Talk to them gently, tell them how their rumors are making you feel, and tell them to stop. You should set limits. Let people know that you don't like to hear or take part in talk. Change the subject to something more upbeat or useful. Show others how to behave by not taking part in talk yourself. If people see that you don't spread rumors or say bad things about other people, they might be less likely to include you in those kinds of talks. Negative rumors and gossip should not be your main focus. Instead, you should work on making friends and creating a supportive atmosphere. Get help. If gossip is making you very upset or hurting your health, you might want to get help from family, friends, or a psychologist who can give you advice and a different point of view. Write down and report if needed. Gossiping can sometimes turn into abuse or bullying. It's important to keep track of instances of gossip that you think is harmful or crossing a line. You could also report it to the right people, like HR at work or school management in a school setting. Remember that you can choose how to react to what other people say, even if you can't change what they say. Stay true to your ideals and work on making relationships and places better. Lesson number five. When being criticized unfairly, if someone criticizes you unfairly, your first thought might be to protect yourself. 
but Epictetus suggested a different way to deal with it. If someone says something bad about you, don't try to defend yourself by saying things like, he didn't know about my other flaws, or he wouldn't have brought them up on their own. This is a powerful lesson in self-awareness and self-control. Everyone has to deal with criticism, especially when it's unfair. For those who have to deal with irrational criticism, the first thing a Stoic does is calm down. Instead of getting angry and reacting quickly, they listen and think about what was said. Not only does self-control show that you are strong, it is also one of the main things that sets a respectable person apart from someone who doesn't have any. Stoics accept reality as it is, even if it may be unfair. Instead, they know that understanding is the key to mental freedom. They're not agreeing with injustice when they say yes, they're just admitting that they can't change something. When there is no way to defend yourself, silence is the only thing that can save you. It's a sign of control and the only way to keep an unfair situation from turning into a never-ending fight. Having faith in silence, being quiet, is not a sign of weakness, but of confidence. A Stoic knows that being strong means more than just speaking out. It also means being able to hold back and choose wisely what to say in a world full of unfair criticism and injustice. Stoic philosophy is a great way to get strength and control over your life. It says that if we accept the truth, use the power of silence and trust in what is right, we not only live an honest and patient life, but we also bring hope and belief to others in a world that is often chaotic. Now let's move on to lesson six. Again, thank you and congratulations on making it halfway through today's video. Your presence here shows that you are ready for this journey. So let's move on to the last five lessons of keeping silence as we continue to improve ourselves. Lesson number six. How to deal with loss. The truth of life is that you will lose things, and that can cause deep emotions and hard times. Loss can come in many forms, such as the pain of losing a loved one, the void that comes with losing a job, or the emptiness that comes with giving up something we hold dear. All of these are unavoidable parts of our journey. They can make us feel lost and helpless in the face of endless waves of despair. When we face loss, the most important thing is to accept and understand that everything is temporary. Life is like a journey through a rough sea with big waves and storms. We mind peace and calmness not only help us get through hard times, but they are also the basis of happiness and contentment in life. With mental training and patience, we can face any problem head on and with wisdom. But Stoicism isn't about trying to become numb or avoiding emotions. It's about accepting all emotions naturally and keeping them in check. By doing this, we can live a meaningful life and enjoy every moment, whether it's happy or sad. Dealing with loss is a very personal and difficult thing to do. There are some general things that may help you deal with the loss of a loved one, a job, a relationship, or something else important in your life. Let yourself cry. It's normal to do so, and there's no right or wrong way to do it. Let yourself feel the feelings that come with losing someone, whether they are sadness, anger, guilt, or nothing at all. Get help. Talk to friends, family, or a support group. They can offer warmth and understanding during this tough time. Talking to other people about how you feel can help you feel less alone in your sadness. Take care of yourself. Even if it's hard, make sure you put yourself first. This means getting enough rest, eating well, working out, and doing things that make you happy and calm down. Say what you want. Find healthy ways to show how you feel, like writing in a notebook, making art, listening to music, or working out. Creative expression can help you deal with your thoughts and feel better. Give yourself time to heal. It takes time to get over a loss, so be patient with yourself. It takes time to grieve, so don't push yourself to get over it quickly. 
It's okay for you to heal at your own pace. If you need it, get professional help. If you're having a hard time dealing with your loss, or if your grief is lasting a long time and getting in the way of your daily life, you might want to talk to a therapist or counselor who specializes in grief and loss. Look for meaning and purpose. Find ways to remember the person or thing you've lost. This could mean making a memorial, taking part in customs or rituals, or thinking of ways to honor them through acts of service or kindness. Practice mindfulness, deep breathing exercises, meditation, and other forms of mindfulness can help you stay present and grounded when you're feeling very emotional. Being mindful can also help you learn more about yourself and accept how you feel. It's okay to have good days and bad days, so be kind to yourself. As you go through the ups and downs of loss, be kind and compassionate to yourself. Think about what you believe. Sometimes, spiritual or religious views can help you feel better when you've lost someone close to you. Think about what life, death and the future mean to you based on your own beliefs. Loss affects each person differently, so it's important to find ways to deal with it that work for you. Above all, be kind, patient and gentle with yourself as you go through this hard process of healing. Lesson number seven. When people brag, the Stoics keep quiet. Every day we have to deal with problems that come up in life. According to Stoic thought, self-control is often the key to solving these problems. Being quiet is not only a sign of inner peace, but also of patience and a deep understanding of oneself and the world around you. When someone compliments you, don't let your pride and complacency take over. Instead, look at these compliments with mental independence and don't let gossip or other people's opinions affect you. By being quiet, you will find strength in knowing that your self-worth doesn't depend on what other people think of you. The desire of ego in a society that values self-promotion and self-praise is one of the hardest things about staying silent in the face of praise and comfort. People who refuse to take part in this race may feel pressured and unstable, but mental independence and patience are seen as very important traits. When people praise and compliment you, staying quiet shows that you are strong and have deep thoughts. Finally, when people compliment and praise you, staying quiet is not only a sign of self-control, but also a way to create a space inside for peace and spiritual freedom in a world that often praises laziness and pride. Stoic thought says that being quiet is a sign of strength and self-control. Lesson number eight. How to get through the seas of ignorance with Stoic grace. In the journey of life, we often go through the great seas of uncertainty where waves of mystery and unpredictability are always ready to test our strength. Facing these challenges is not only a battle with problems from the outside, but also a journey of self-discovery and self-conquest during those tough times. Stoicism is like a light shining through the darkness, showing us how to deal with ambiguity with patience and determination. In a sea of uncertainty, we will always feel lost, but Stoicism teaches us that not knowing is not only a temporary state, but also the essence of life. Accepting that we can't know everything ahead of time is normal, and it even opens the door to discovery, learning and growth. Facing uncertainty doesn't mean giving up or being afraid. Also, when you don't know what to say, Silence is not a sign of weakness, but of power and confidence. Being quiet helps us control our emotions, makes room for self-reflection, and makes us more aware of our own and other people's feelings. By responding maturely and deeply with the spirit of Stoicism, we not only get through the challenges of the unknown, but we also get stronger and more resilient. It's not just a journey, but a profound experience of the essence of life and existence. So please like and share this video. 
If you can find the power, depth and peace in your own life to navigate the seas of ignorance with stoic grace, you need to develop a mindset and do things that help you stay cool, strong and logical when you don't know what to do or how to do it. This is how to do it. Accepting that you don't know everything is a normal part of being human. Accept that you don't know everything there is to know. This will help you be more humble. Focus on what you can control. Stoicism teaches you to let go of things you can't change and focus on the things you can. You may not know everything there is to know about a subject, but you can control how you feel, what you do, and how hard you try to learn and get better. Mindfulness. Practice. Mindfulness to stay in the present and be aware of your feelings and thoughts. When you don't know what to do or aren't sure what to do, watch how you react without judging yourself and decide how to answer thoughtfully instead of reacting. Develop Resilience to develop resilience, you need to know that facing ignorance or setbacks is a chance to learn and grow. Challenges should be seen as chances to grow as a person and become smarter. Seek knowledge with an open mind. Admit that you don't know a lot, but stay interested and willing to learn. When you hear something new, keep an open mind and are ready to think about it from different points of view. Exercise Rationality to get through uncertainty, use reasoning and reason. Instead of being overwhelmed by what you don't know, look at the information you have access to, ask questions, and try to get more information when you can. Accept that some things will always be out of your control or that you can't understand. Instead of fighting stupidity, see it as a normal part of life and put your energy into things that can make a positive difference. Grow qualities. Work on growing qualities like patience, courage, wisdom and resilience. These traits will help you stay true to yourself and keep your peace when things get tough. Think about Stoic teachings. To strengthen your way of thinking and actions, think about Stoic teachings and ideas on a regular basis. Stoic philosophers such as Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius, and Seneca can help you deal with ignorance by giving you advice and direction. Practice. Gratitude. Be thankful for what you already know and for the chances you have to learn and grow. Being grateful can help you stop focused on what you don't know and start appreciating all the things you do know and experiences you have. By following these rules and habits, you can sail through the ocean of ignorance with stoic ease Staying calm and strong, even when you don't know what to do or what to expect. Lesson number nine, the art of silence for Stoics during false rumors. Not only is silence the absence of speech, it's also a wise choice that can help us learn more about ourselves and the world around us from a Stoic point of view. In a world full of false information, silence is not a sign of helplessness, but of hidden strength and resolve. When we choose to be silent, we not only make room for reflection and evaluation of events within insight, but we also solidify the we don't react quickly to unfounded rumors or criticism, and we don't let our feelings or doubts take over. Instead, we keep our honor and morals. In the light of Stoicism, silence is not a sign of refusal or failure, but of certainty and patience. In silence, we find freedom and inner strength that empowers us to face and overcome any challenge with determination and clarity. Stoics know that silence is more than just not speaking. It's a sign of mental strength and determination in action. In silence, they find the strength to reject false accusations and stand up for their morals. They don't let false information destroy their beliefs and self-confidence. Instead, they see silence as a shield that protects the soul and mind from bad outside influences. Being quiet gives us peace and the power to control our feelings and stand up for what's right and true. This is when we really understand what silence really means. 
not as a sign of weakness, but as a sign of mental strength and clear thinking.